Um, all right, so let's move on to some tech news. Yeah. The RX 5600 XT launch was a bit of a fiasco. I actually clarified it a little bit on the yeah. am I retiring or not, what's going on live stream, um, but I feel like I should do it more formally here because I did not cover it adequately in our launch video of the 5600 XT, and I did a very bad job of making the situation better on With tech, the tech wiki. <laughs> um, Yeah. So, you know what? I I watched mistake. both of those things after the live stream. And with that context on it, it was just hilarious. Terrible. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. So, AMD released the RX 5600 XT on Tuesday the 22nd. And virtually everyone's been talking about nothing but the vBIOS update from day zero. So what went down is we had intended to do our 5600 XT content as like, an, an overclocking experiment with the card because we'd gotten a wink and a nudge that there was a lot of overclocking headroom. And I'm not gonna say who the wink and nudge came from because I don't know how much of this communication is NDA'd, but sure. we had yeah. like a shot in the ribs and a, that there was a lot you of overclocking headroom. Do this. Yeah. So we structured the entire video around that and then we like found out about this VBIOS update. We got our card updated, so our, our numbers are fine. Uh, which was why I thought it was not a big deal because I got the sequence of events out of order. I didn't know how last minute it was. And effectively, we were still waiting on a response to find out like, what's the deal here? Is this VBIOS update a, a one shot thing on just this one particular card? Is By it because we got like engineering samples? Yeah. yeah. By the happens. way, we noticed that that overclocking headroom that was hinted at to us, like, well, this VBIOS seems to take up a lot of it. So if, um, <laughs> sorry, what's, what? Um, so anyway, we, but we went ahead, we like overclocked the card. We did end up, we got better performance numbers um, with our overclocking testing. And what I didn't know, what I didn't realize because I'd spaced out while Anthony was talking to me about the situation was that AMD didn't have a coherent plan for updating some of the cards that would go to end users right. that were already updated. Like to me, it was a nothing burger. Cause I was like, who cares? We get pre-launch firmware updates all the time. As long as they're available to the end user, it doesn't matter because they will never see this pre-launch state of the product. But in this case, because updating the, uh, the BIOS of a graphics card is a non-trivial matter for most users, some people were gonna end up stuck with it. And so it was kind of a problem because they were gonna watch a review like ours where we take this card that's fast at stock and even faster overclocked, and it was gonna be slower at stock even though it would theoretically have a bunch of overclocking headroom. Lots of people don't overclock their graphics cards. I don't bother anymore. Mine why still I? are, but I understand why most people wouldn't. I've just always really particularly enjoyed graphics card overclocking. I don't necessarily know why. I also mostly play Beat Saber, so. Hey man, you it were talking to me about the like. Literally runs on a quest. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because, okay, I was talking about how I wish I know, that the polling rates for the tracking Which is, were higher. Yeah. I was but, just saying, yeah. like, if there's a min maxing Beat Saber player out there, it's probably you. I'm, I'm actually getting pretty good. There's reasonably popular songs that I'm like getting close to cracking like top 100 for. Mm -hmm. That's yep, pretty cool. Yep. That's pretty cool. Uh, and by the way, did Jaden have any response to my significantly higher no, score than his? No, you told his? me not to tell him. I did? Yeah. Oh, no, I want him to know. Okay. Well, uh, now he... Yeah, I want him to know. <laughs> now he knows. So Jaden, one of Luke's colleagues at Floatplane and technically my colleague as well, even though Luke does most of the work, um, he went out of his way to crap on my parade <laughs> at, Luke's behest, at Luke's behest. Yeah. Um, I, asked, I asked him if he could do it. When I was trying to full combo Supernova on Expert Plus and Beat Saber. And anyway, he did it, but he did it really sloppily, quite frankly. <laughs> and my score is nearly 50,000 higher than his. So, um, and I have full comboed it now. So there you go, Jaden, there's your challenge. Anyway, um, I have a I have a screenshot too. I have a proof screenshot. So Anthony was super upset about the situation with the 5600 XT because 
Fortunately, he had been busy with something else for the two days prior to the vBIOS update. Otherwise, he would have basically had to do his testing twice. Yeah, And then sucks. because the communication around the situation was so terrible, we weren't able to message it correctly in our video because they were still like, hey, yeah, let us look into this. What do you mean, let you look into it? You know what you're doing. Yeah, you have to know now. So, you, so just tell us. Yeah. And this is just the kind of sloppy stuff that is really frustrating for us, where it's like, just communicate. You have one job as PR, or well, press relations. Well, you, you, one job. To be fair, their one job is probably to mislead you in that moment. I don't think so. What's the point? It's gonna blow up. Yeah, but your initial video sounds more positive. Yeah, but my initial video doesn't have to be more or less positive. It can just be informative. Yeah. Hey, by the way, there's a handful of cards out there that have this VBIOS. Here's how you update it. I did a video right, about this don't have seven solution, years ago. But if they don't have a solution But at they all. do have a solution. Yeah. Updating the VBIOS. I think, yeah. But they, they probably suspect most end users, even with your video from forever ago, aren't going to be able to do it. So, yeah. And upgrading VBIOSes on graphics cards is kind of scary. It is. You, realistically, you should have a UPS. Most people do not have a UPS. Yeah. Um, <sighs> so that's what happened. I'm sorry I screwed it up. It was not Anthony's fault. I'm no. going gonna, gonna to throw AMD under the bus a little bit here, but not directly, necessarily.